This video looks at the System 55 911 envelope generators. Envelope generators are a fundamental control signal generator in any synthesizer. This video will give a detailed review of the envelope generator ecosystem in the System 55 modular synthesizer. In particular, we'll be looking at some interesting use cases creating complex envelopes using multiple 911 envelope generators and the 911A dual trigger delay module. Before we start, let's look at the basic patch which will provide the context in which we're working. For more on this patch, watch my System 55 Basic Patch Points video. We're using a basic mini mode patch. VCO Bank 1 is mixed into a low pass VCF, which is going to a VCA, and the output of the VCA is what we're hearing. We're using two 911 envelope generators, one each for the VCF and VCA. The keyboard CV is mixed with the oscillator controller, which combines the CM1A MIDI interface CV controlled from a MIDI keyboard and the 960 sequencer CV output. Also, an LFO is attenuated for vibrato. Gates and triggers are managed by the 961 interface, which is combining the CMA1 V trigger, the V trigger from the sequencer clock out, which is going into the B input so that we can control the gate width. I'm using an external multiple to route the S triggers coming out of the 961. The output of the 911 envelope generator for the VCF is being monitored by an oscilloscope. This helps visualize the envelope we're creating. Let's look at the system and the envelope output on the oscilloscope while we change the gate width and the attack on the envelope. We'll start the sequencer. The 911 envelope generator is an ADSR type envelope generator. Of course, ADSR is an acronym which stands for Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release. Moog was the first to produce what is now commonly referred to as the ADSR envelope generator. Thank you, Bob Moog. By today's standards, there are a couple of quirks in the 911 design. One quirk is the switch trigger which is on when the trigger is at zero volts, i.e. ground. The more common trigger or gate is the voltage trigger or V trigger, which is on when the gate level is at some positive voltage. This voltage level is often five volts in the Eurorack format. Another quirk is that the sustain knob is at the bottom of the panel. Normally, Knobs would follow the sequence ADSR, thus the sustain knob would be third from the top of the panel. There are several modules closely connected to the 911 envelope. The first is the 911 dual gate delay which provides a delay between the incoming S-trigger and the generated outgoing S-trigger. There are two delay circuits found on the panel. The controls include S-trigger in and out, delay knob with a range of 0 to 10 seconds, a trigger configuration switch. This controls the source of the S-trigger for the second trigger delay. 
The three position switch reflects the trigger as first independent or off, which means that the S trigger input jack number two is the source for the S trigger. This makes the second delay trigger independent of the first. Parallel, S trigger input jack one is the source of the trigger for the second delay. Series, the second delay is triggered at the end of the first delay. Another module in the 911 envelope ecosystem is the 961 interface module. The following features in the 961 interface module can be used with the 911 envelopes. First, you can convert between S triggers and V triggers. V triggers can be input here and converted to an S trigger. S triggers can be input here and converted to V triggers. Also, there is the gate timer that can be used to shorten or extend the timing of a trigger. This can be used to convert a short trigger to a gate or vice versa. Another module, the CP35 attenuators, can be used because of the fixed DC voltages, minus six volts and plus six volts. These can be used as an offset to an envelope. Finally, a voltage processor can be very helpful. It can invert an envelope in some use cases. On the System 55, you could use a VCA to invert the envelope signal. Simply use either the negative input or the negative output on the VCA and adjust manually the fixed control voltage, i.e. initial gain. The simplest envelope example patch uses a single 911 to control both the VCF and VCA in a classic subtractive synthesis patch. A more flexible patch assigns separate 911 envelopes to the VCF and VCA. Perhaps a third envelope could be assigned to perform some pitch modulation for the VCOs as in a sync patch. All of these topologies use a single 911 to create the envelope for a single module. They are basic envelope applications. Common envelope settings include a string patch where we have a short attack, a variable decay, and a variable sustain, and a release that is similar to the attack. Let's watch it on the oscilloscope. An organ envelope would have an immediate attack, an immediate release, and a full sustain. And let's see what that looks like. A percussive envelope would have an immediate attack, a short decay, a release that would match the decay, and a variable sustain. Here's what that would look like. A brass envelope would have a short attack, a short decay, and a sustain between 40 and 70 percent and a release similar to the attack. Let's see what that looks like and sounds like. A reverse envelope would feature a longer attack and intermediate decay, a zero sustain, and an immediate release. And I've implemented that on this VCA envelope. Let's hear what it sounds like. A fade envelope would have an immediate attack, a long decay, a zero sustain, 
and a release to match the decay. Note that I've also put the filter envelope to that same release time. And let's hear what that sounds like. Complex envelope topologies can provide more sophisticated envelope shapes. These cannot be implemented with a single 911 envelope. The features used to create these complex envelopes include multiple 911 envelopes combined with a mixer, inverters and DC offsets for the envelope signals, gate delays to modify the trigger timing of the envelopes. Here are some examples of these more complex envelope shapes that appear with common acoustic instruments. This patch will create a brass sound with a swell. This starts with a traditional brass ADSR envelope. Rather than a sustain, the secondary attack creates a typical brass swell. This could be implemented with an expression pedal. Alternately, a delayed trigger could drive a second 911 envelope which kicks in when the swell is to begin. Both envelopes are summed and directed to the filter control and perhaps a VCA. So what we've added here in addition to the main filter envelope which is going directly into the filter mixer without attenuation, we've added this trigger going into the trigger delay and routed into this 911 envelope and this 911 envelope will create the swell we're going to hear. It's routed into this attenuator. So let's listen and watch it on the oscilloscope. And there you see your second attack creating the swell sound. Another complex envelope would be required to emulate a string pluck sound as in a guitar or a piano. A string pluck begins with a percussive envelope with an immediate attack and short initial decay. Rather than a sustain, there is a secondary decay that's much longer. This is distinguished from a release which would occur when a key was released on a piano and the string was muted. This can be implemented with two 911 envelopes and two VCAs. And this is exactly what we've done here. We're employing a second VCA and our output's coming from the second VCA and a second envelope. Our trigger goes straight into this envelope and right now it's set up so that the sustain is at full which means that it's basically going to do nothing. So let's listen to that and watch it on the oscilloscope. So we're reducing the sustain to zero so that the decay will kick in. And that's the string pluck envelope. The System 55 contains four 911 envelopes. If you're setting up a two-voice system, it's easy to use all these envelopes. If you really want to tap into the full potential of the System 55 hardware, it's important to explore the complex envelope configurations that are possible. The examples provided in this video are just some examples of configuring complex envelopes. Perhaps this introduction will spark your imagination and creativity while patching the System 55. Can you think of any other common uses for the 911 and 911A modules? If so, please share those in the comments. Thanks for watching.